Well, another twist in the Graceland drama. Breaking news, the Department of Justice announcing a Missouri woman has now been arrested in an alleged scheme to defraud Elvis's family. Lisa Janine Findley is accused of attempting to steal the family's ownership interest in Graceland, Elvis's former home in Memphis. She is also charged with attempting to defraud them of millions of dollars. Federal authorities say Findley falsely claimed that Elvis's daughter, Lisa Marie, had pledged the home to her as collateral for a $3.8 million loan that she failed to repay before her death. Court documents show Finley posed as three different people affiliated with the made-up private lender. And now she's going to face a judge. Joining me now on the phone, entertainment attorney Trey Lovell. So, I mean, these are some very, very serious charges. What do the court documents show so far about how she was able to get away with this and take it as far as she did? Well, she she was able to, to uh, prepare a false uh, loan allegedly signed by Lisa Marie Presley and notarized, which were both forged. Uh, she created a false deed of trust and then filed the false claims uh, in the uh, Superior Court in California, um, all with, with the brazen attempt to try to actually foreclose on Graceland. This is one of the most brazen fraud scams I've, I've seen. Well, and it, it was only until the press started covering this and it got global attention were, were the, the Presley family able to step in and get the courts to intervene. Did the system fail that this woman was able to take advantage and, and lie for so long um, that it came to a foreclosure? I mean, it's very surprising, but I have to say, Marnie, that, that the fraud scams nowadays are getting very sophisticated, very creative, and very believable. Uh, I, you know, I personally handle a lot of fraud cases. I've represented cases where I've had 140 victims, some of whom are lawyers, doctors, smart businessmen who get roped into these scams. They just get more and more sophisticated with the paperwork. Um, and they can go so far until, like you said, they start getting checked and vetted, and eventually they find out, you know, it's just a big scam. Yeah, at one point she was claiming that this was like a Nigerian connection or scheme involved. So she's charged, as I understand it, mail fraud and aggravated identity theft. Um, what type of sentence, if convicted, may she face? Well, I think for the aggravated identity theft, it's a minimum of two years. Uh, and then mail fraud can be serious. That can be a maximum of 20 years. So she could be looking at 20 plus years uh, in, in prison, you know, for this scam. So, you know, nowadays the U.S. Postal Service, the, the Attorney General, I'm not, I mean, the U.S. Attorney's Office, they're very serious about these fraud scams. They're getting much more prevalent, um, and a lot of people are really getting hurt. So they're really clamping down hard, both with the, with the, with the sentencing as well as going after these people. Don't know if she'll do this, but if her attorneys enter her into a, a plea agreement of some sort, how might that change the outcome of, of the, her consequences? You know, I, I don't know if it's really going to change much because, you know, I mean, they went after Graceland and the authorities in Tennessee, I mean, it, it, as you're reading the press, they, it, it's like their own. I mean, they're, 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 they're very protective of this. So, and it seems like they've got a great case. You know, they got the notary public saying, I never, I never signed this. Um, and the documents, you know, clearly going to be proven to be false. So they're probably going to go after after a very severe penalty. And now if, if, if she would agree to some serious prison time, it may work. But I would assume that she's going to fight it and, uh, and they may go to trial on it. What other options does the, the Presley family have? I mean, can they go after lost legal costs or anything else in a situation like this? I mean, we don't even know if she has it. Yes, they can. They certainly can go after her civilly for damages related to, to the fraud scam um, and the false identity theft. I mean, you know, but as you said, you know, if she's trying to scam money out of people, there's a good chance that, that she herself is insolvent and doesn't have it. But they certainly have civil remedies, and they could get a, their attorney's fees, I think, it's something like this. Yeah, what an incredible story. Um, well, she'll, she'll face, the, face the piper on this one, and, and we'll be uh, before a judge in a hearing shortly. Trey, thanks for jumping on with us. Thank you so much.